So just looking at, so you have a, a basic panel, which you call like the aging SOS. So I think we've covered a, a lot of the, the, the actual components, but um, I just wanted to ask, uh, so w why did you pick the particular ones that you picked that, that, that are part of this and how could we use that as, a, as, as something to guide our behavior? Mm -hmm. That's a very good question. So when we started, we, we examined you know, dozens and dozens of different biomarkers. And at the end of the day, what I wanted to have is, uh, is the smallest panel that will give uh, us uh, a very good assessment of where we stand mm. and whether we have sub health issues. Mm -hmm. At the end, we decided on 12 biomarkers and we're probably going to add a, a few more uh, very soon because I think a few others are, are actually very, very important. And with these 12 biomarkers, and we assess uh, the status of six functional categories. Mm -hmm. And that's inflammation, cellular senescence, uh, protein glycation, uh, also uh, tissue damages and um, uh, micronutrient uh, deficiencies. Mm -hmm. uh, so micronutrient, I, I put it only into the micronutrient deficiency category, you know, vitamin D and, and, um, mm -hmm. uh, and, and NAD. So with these six category of functions, we have a um, pretty good uh, assessment of where you stand now mm. and and how likely you uh have uh, you, you you may have uh, may develop uh, potential uh, health issues in the future mm. so what we're, we're not talking about you know identification or diagnosis with diseases and we're really trying to identify the root causes that can predispose individuals to future diseases. Mm. So you can take actions now, much before the clinical symptoms uh, appear. You know, I spent my 30, uh, over 30 years of my career to find treatment diagnosis for diseases. Mm. I had enough. <laughs> and I, I don't want to deal with diseases anymore. I want to deal with the health. I want people mm. to be healthy. And I don't want them to have to deal with the clinical symptoms. And if you look at all these diseases, before the clinical symptoms occur, they must have one or multiple of these six functional defects or deficiency. Mm. It, this is almost universally true. You know, inflammation is certainly very important and so talked about by war people, including medical professionals. Many medical prof professionals know oxidative stress, but no one, almost no one, universally, no one does a thing about it. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's not important. Okay, they're not going to tell you how important inflammation is, but they're not going to tell you how important the oxidative stress is. I can tell you oxidative stress is much more important in, than inflammation. You don't find a huge number of people that have, you know, chronic high inflammation. 70% of the people have some kind of oxidative stress issues in the United States. Right. Uh, it's better than, I mean, it's better in uh, Europe. And, and I have high oxidative stress as well. And I, you know, I can tell you my management story, uh, <laughs> but we don't have time. Um, so oxidative stress is a key, key issue that the medical professionals don't pay enough attention. Cellular senescence, that's another one. 
That's so important, but it's gaining the lot of uh, notoriety and, and importance in the longevity field, but still it's not widely talked about in the medical professionals. And because you know they, they are occupied by treating the symptoms, they, are, they don't have time and they probably don't have the knowledge to deal with the root causes. Mm. You know, when you go see a, a patient, especially in the United States, you know, we see a specialist, you know, 99% of the time. Mm -hmm. And they, they are going to look at your kidney, they are going to look at your heart, they are going to look at your eyes. But they don't think about, you know, what are the, the causes underlying of all these problems? These are the six things that I, I you know, I, I was talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, you often find multiple of these defects in these patients and actually occur much earlier than the clinical symptoms. So if we can stop, if we can correct these problems before the clinical problems occur, we have a much better chance to prevent or delay these uh, clinical uh, issues. And I, I, I think this is a much better way mm. as a medical professional, instead of, uh, you know, I would love to find a, uh, you know, a cure for, for cancer or for, for diabetes. And that's what I've worked for decades. But I, I, I realized that it's going to be very hard. I mean, it may be doable, but why, why don't we move in this much earlier? Hmm. How to deal with root causes? Right. Okay, excellent. Thank you. That's a, that's a, a great explanation. Professor Sher is very generous to offer a 10% discount code to our audience for all the tests. Please find the discount code and details in the description. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well, and we'll speak to you again soon.